Mr. Bridal. Yeah, you talked a number of times about uh, the report being unmodified this time. Mm -hmm. And can you explain a little bit about what unmodified and modified fund, just so that, sure. I mean, the layman can know what it is yeah. and, and, and what the difference is and how we have been in the past where now we're unmodified, but I guess. Sure. Um, unmodified or in slang is a clean opinion, basically saying that these financial statements, all the schedules and notes within are fairly stated in all material respects. Um, previously, you had a modification to your opinion on the governmental activities. So what it, what it meant, if we use this report as an example, would be that the financial statements were fairly stated prior to this, the general budgetary and fund information. However, I could not say that your government-wide financial statements, Exhibit A and Exhibit B on page 8 and 9, were fairly stated because the capital asset figures were omitted, the long-term liability related to the other post-employments were omitted, as were the related required disclosures for those items. So previously, again, the, the other numbers, the baseline numbers were okay. However, these two statement, uh, these statements we could not give a clean opinion because they weren't fairly stated. They were missing material information and now that information has been provided and we've audited that and similar to the previous opinions that again it's an unmodified opinion saying that now these statements are now fairly stated and you've also complied with the required disclosure requirements that are associated with those. And get, getting back to what and because we have that is simply because of all the work done by our finance department. Correct yeah it's the only way to do it again we made comment um, you know, in the, in the audit each year, obviously. Um, but again, until, until you just went through the, the process of inventorying everything and, and then getting it into a spreadsheet and getting it into a financial software that could depreciate it and come up with all the required disclosures that you need, that was the only way to remedy the issue with the opinion. Thank you, Christy.